Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. Getting some of my uh, my onions that I had out here curing, bringing them in. I've been doing some cooking and some canning of some salsa and some spaghetti sauce. Uh, first time doing the spaghetti sauce and uh, it came out really good. There was a little bit left, so I made a uh, stuffed shells dish and it's really quite good so i got about six six quarts yeah i believe it was six quarts of the spaghetti sauce so that's pretty cool um so yeah i just wanted to get some of these onions in the house in case i need them uh they're all done curing and they came out really really nice. I have only got a few that have gotten soft. That's soft. This one, I don't know, that one might be all right, but this one's soft as well. So I got a couple soft and I've thrown a couple away, but not too, too many. But um, yeah, I was just going to show you around the homestead and uh, see what's been happening around here. So of course a while back I harvested all my corn and I've taken all my corn stalks down and pulled up a bunch of the weeds that grew. Just getting this cleaned up so that I can turn it over a little bit and maybe rework some more compost in there for next year, for next year's corn. So it's, it's pretty good, it's almost there. I got all my carrots dug up, or at least most of them, I can see some more coming up. So I got all them dug up. I got about two quart size bags full of carrots. They came out, they're not super huge, but they're, they're pretty nice little carrots. So along with cleaning out my corn uh, and stalks, I've also been cleaning out my um, tomatoes. The ones that are done, I've gotten all the tomatoes off of them I'm gonna get this year. We'll have a frost here in the next month or so, and I probably, they'll be gone anyway. So that's not enough time for them to grow any more tomatoes from flour. So I just pulled out the ones that uh, were all done. And I've got a few here. This is a pink brandy wine. And this has been on the on the vine quite a while. It's got a lot of lines and, and uh, stretching in it. I've still got Romas growing here. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch. They're starting to get they're starting to get orange. Oh, you're gonna see, oh, look at that. We got graced with a monarch butterfly. We have had them here the past week or so and I've been trying to get some really good footage of them. So I hopefully I'm getting that on the camera because they're just beautiful, beautiful butterflies. So gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, so pretty much just pulled out most of them. I've got a few tomato plants and my, I've got a, a Roma, I've, I've got a few Roma, I've got a few of the pink brandy wine left, or one, I guess. Cherry tomatoes left, zucchini's gone. My beans are still coming in really well, actually. I may just leave the ones that are on there and let them go to seed and then use the seeds for next year because those really those bush be blue lake bush beans i believe they were they have been really really good this year and gave us a lot of beans and they're delicious i guess that's pretty much it for in the garden so i did end up putting their run in there's a nice fence along here with all the little stakes uh, and I had it attached to the end and they've been running back and forth. I threw some trees in there with la with leaves and limbs so that they could hide in there if there was any predators flying around when they were outside. Put my granddaughter's little wheelbarrow upside down and they love it there. And they get up on it and, and roost a little bit and they like to roost in the trees. But I just today have opened up the end of their run here so that they can come out and just hang out with the rest of the chickens. So they're in and out and just exploring, figuring things out. 
They really like it over here by the greenhouse. They like to peck at the greenhouse. I don't know if they see their reflection or if there are bugs down there, but they really like it over there. They also like it over here in the ferns. And so far the big chickens haven't even paid any attention to them, so that's a good thing. So I've been working on putting in some, some more outside uh, flowers in different spots for my bees and butterflies and all my pollinators, moths, <laughs> whatever you can find. And so I found some of these, uh, I got echinacea and then Oh, I can't remember what those are right now. I got some chrysanthemums over there. I'll show you that little, it's my little Halloween fall decor that I've got going on. Uh, if you can see way over here, we've been working on the fire pit. We put in uh, some crushed um, rock dust that really packs down nicely. And we put that in the floor of my greenhouse and I really like it. And I said, you know, I really want to use it for the path going into the stairs of the house and for the fire pit area. So we built that all up and raised it and now we're flattening it out. So here's my uh, Halloween little decor right by the stairs to go into the house. I made the pumpkins. They're made out of scrap wood that I had kicking around. There is actually a video on how I made that on my other channel, Repurpose My Way. I'll put a link up top for you guys to check out if you're interested. Those purple flowers are chrysanthemums. And those corn stalks are from my garden. So hopefully you can see over my shoulder, the woodshed has been uh, pretty much full, filled. We've got a few little spots here and there that I can grab out of this pile. But if you have seen the previous firewood uh, videos, we had three piles of a cord each of firewood that all got put away and is all in the woodshed and then the pile that's left is what we've cut up on our property to kind of clear it out a little bit for the solar panels so that the sun can hit the panels a little bit better in the winter summer whenever um, so that's quite a bit of firewood there it won't fit in the firewood shed so we're gonna have to find somewhere else for it to go right now it's drying and uh, we should be pretty well set for firewood for quite a while. So that's what I've just been doing is, I don't know if you can see the line. I'll go over and show you. The line here of the lighter colored firewood is what I did this morning. Finished splitting it up. And the darker has been there for a while and uh, it's drying out really well so that's pretty well full it's just got like I said a few spots up top that I haven't finished but I can take some from the pile over here and just pop them in there and that'll be full all right so here's where we cut those few trees down to get that pile of firewood over here that I just split we made a little road with the tractor right up in here as you can see going right up in it's a skitter trail anyway or it used to be um, this property's got skitter trails all over it, but they've grown up quite a bit. It's been a while since they've been in there cutting. So we just had to trim trees and do a little bit of work and uh, fix it up so a tra tractor could go through there and not a skitter because it's a little bit different. Yeah, we've opened it up quite a bit there for the sun to peek through in the morning and get to the solar panels first thing in the morning as early as it possibly can without cutting all these trees down. We do want to keep a buffer here. We can go quite a ways back, but it just goes up, up, up the hills. So it just gets harder and harder to get the firewood out. Hence why we've started to build this road and attach it to the other skitter trails that are in there so that we can kind of cut them down and get in there with the tractor and pull out what firewood we need. So if you've seen some of our other videos, this is these are our uh, solar panels here up on this, this track. And there are 12 panels there. 
We adjust them in the fall with the fall equinox to so that they're up and down so that it gets more sun in the fall and then in the summer this is the the way that it is kind of facing the sky more so that we could get the sun the most of the sun on them in the summertime so right now they're in summertime mode and by next week when scott's off from work we will have them adjusted so that they're facing closer to the ground to be able to get the sun rays. I don't know if you can tell, but we did put some of that crusher, crushed rock dust in here. This is where the dog goes, does her business, and the chicken treat door is right there where they come running to get their treats. Um, but we put about three bucketfuls, three or four bucketfuls of the uh, rock dust in here because we eventually will be planning on getting or putting in a deck back here at some point. We still haven't figured out how big or how wide and Scott's talking about putting a roof on it, kind of like the one that's there so that we can enclose it with screen and have like a screened in deck. That will be really nice, but that's in the future. Thank goodness the prices on wood are going down, but uh, we'll let it level out a little bit more before we get into it. So also, uh, Junior is gone. Junior has gone to my daughter's house. She didn't have a rooster and she wanted one. So uh, he has gone off with her as of yesterday. She got him for her birthday. <laughs> he has a good home there. He's gonna have a whole flock of young chickens there with him. He's a really sweet rooster. Um, let me pick him right up. Such a little sweetheart. And I, I feel good having him over there with my granddaughter too running around. He will be, I'm pretty sure, just fine with her um, and not being aggressive at all. So he has gone with them. That's pretty much what's been going on. I mean, lots of canning, like I said, a little bit of outside stuff. Uh, it's getting to be cool nights down in the 50s and actually upper 40s at night and the days are just gorgeous. They're in the 70s. Today it's like 73. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, not much humidity, if at any at all. So we're pretty lucky with that. That's pretty much it, guys. Not really a lot to you know to to fill you in on what's going on around here just you know the usual getting the homestead ready for winter this time of year is what it's about just stocking up on our food uh, canning as much from the garden or farm stands as much as possible getting the firewood in and dry we have the deck project coming i'm hoping next spring uh, i'm gonna save over the winter and see if we can get that done uh, or at least the deck on for spring um, and then that'll be pretty nice to have that back here so uh, that's it guys thanks for watching like share and subscribe and have a great day